Randall should be the one laying there. Not your brother. I'm not leaving you behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, will go down to zero. They, they had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Michonne, what is it? Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. Really? You come after me? You're one of us now. And I can't be the only brains around here. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit is now. How long does it take? What, to warm to them? I'd say it takes uh, one year, three weeks, and six days. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. Why'd you go after her? Because back then, I still thought I could make a difference. After my brother... I just want to make it through another day. A few weeks later, I came across Pete ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. 
Didn't ask any questions. Didn't turn me away. Just welcomed me in. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Well, hey there, Michonne. Sam, I knew you couldn't stay away. Don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> Sam, stop! Easy, all right? Jesus! Little help here! Please, I need a hand! Hey, let go of me! Thank you. Why did you stop me? What are you... Why are you protecting him? You, you know what he did. We can trade him for our safety. But not if he's beaten any worse than he is. Safety? <laughs> that ship has sailed and sunk, ladies. <laughs> What's funny here is you think me and my sister are the bad ones. But you're the one who burned down our home. Forced our people on the shore to be easy pickings for the walkers. Families, kids, never did shit to you. Didn't stop to think about all the lives you were screwing up. All the shit they had to leave behind. Ignore him, Michonne. Probably burned beyond recognition now. <laughs> Michonne! I'm not uh, upsetting you, am I? You're done talking. You're the one who should be dead. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. Pick you don't know. Michelle. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. I'm right here. Good. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand. But your luck has changed. Michonne and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe me anything, but please, we have to get them back. That's my deal, Michonne. I understand. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Shit. <laughs> so, what do you think's going to happen next? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> what? There's something on my face. The bruises aren't so bad. Right? I'm pretty sure she'll notice the fingers. Shut up! Maybe it won't matter. This has to work. Norma's not gonna be happy when she sees him like this. Then we don't let her see him. How long do you think we can keep that up? I don't know. I've never done this before. The minute you hand him over, she's gonna take that bag off his head. What then? <laughs> you all have no idea what you're in for. Ugh. He's right. Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Sure, you kept him alive, but we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. It's not gonna be that easy, Paige. If we run, they'll chase us. But maybe we get away. If we stay here, there's no chance we get out of this alive. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, where are you going? I'll watch him. Sam! Stop. You're gonna hurt yourself. God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. We couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. I understand. You should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking My mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her and Greg. If you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I won't force you to leave. If you want to stay, that's up to you. You don't have to leave either. We can defend this house. We can fight them off. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah.
I, I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just. And? How does it feel? It's, it's heavy. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. That didn't save him. <laughs> the guy who did it killed my dad. He's got to I mean, the things he said, the way he was laughing about dad. We hurt Randall for what he did. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. Your sister will be with me. I'll make sure she's safe. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Hang on to this. You don't know when you might need it. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. I'll be careful. Wish it didn't always come to this. Is that music? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Was this your dad's idea? Yeah. My dad makes sure I'm always safe, so nothing can happen to me, ever. Especially not those things. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise, even at night. 
Getting scared is normal. Really? Happens to everyone sometimes. But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? He can't come right now. I want to wait here for my dad. Alex. I want my dad. I just I want my dad. I want Greg back. I want everything to go back to the way it was. <laughs> Daddy. I wish it could go back too. I wish it all the time. When Greg, when he, did he become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? No, your brother didn't become one of them. Greg is still Greg. Is that what's going to happen to me? Am I going to die and change into one too? <laughs> no, I'm going to protect you. Nothing out there will hurt you. Thanks. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. Thanks for letting me see your fortress. James Fairbanks, Alex Fairbanks. Hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. She's, she's not thinking. Sam wants to defend the house. She wants to fight. You're kidding. Norma's got more people, more guns. There's no way we win in that fight. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. This is your home. This place was never mine. They let me hang around, play make-believe. I left my real life a long time ago. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn though. Then stay. Sam needs you. You're gonna regret it if you leave, trust me. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. Here. Agree. Doesn't mean much now. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. 
can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain. I love you more than anything. Sophie. Here, Pete. Thanks. This is a mess. Can't believe how fucking stupid I was. I get so focused on finding people. I wasn't putting the crew first. I didn't insist on looking. If I didn't turn us around and lead us here. It's not your fault, Pete. You didn't know this would happen. Oak knew. I should have fucking listened. You think after all this time, after everything we've had to do to survive, people would want to help each other. But no, they're just guarding what's theirs and taking out whoever gets in their way. I don't know why I even bother trying to help anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't seem worth it. Maybe I was just fooling myself. I wanted to think there were people worth helping. Careful, Pete. You're starting to sound like me. We just... We have to get my crew back. Hopefully my boat is still in one piece. Shit. What the hell are we gonna do? If Norma's coming for a fight, are we really prepared for that? Norma's not gonna stop. She may say she wants to make a deal, but I don't believe that for a second. We're gonna have to fight. I trust you. James and Alex, wonder how they'll get through all this. I'm a guest in this happen. You know, my hands hurt a little bit. You got any ointment lying around? <laughs> Yeah, well, when Norma gets here, she'll bust down that little gate of yours. And tune you up good. Just march on in. Majestic as fuck. Come in here just like you did? Didn't work out too well for you. Yeah, well. Don't be a stranger. Found the bag. Yeah, here. Thanks. Are the others ready? As ready as we're gonna get. I'm looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. Alex asked about his father. I didn't know what to tell him. I'll, uh, I'll go talk to him. You'll find him in his fortress. I'll meet you outside.
Sam? You okay? Greg and Dad? I just... I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Just say what he meant to you. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. I'm just worried about the crew. If Norma hurt them. They'll be okay. We'll get them back. You know, I envy them a little. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. Just a little bit. Sound like an idiot, don't I? Your boat comes close to that. You kind of forget everything else while you're out there. Hey. I decided to stay. For Sam. Don't get cocky. It had nothing to do with what you said. Uh-huh. Michelle? She's here! <sighs> I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. out there you ready for this anything goes wrong out there just stay alert and be ready for anything we don't know what norma's planning you got it it's just me what the hell is going on here? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. What's your game? No game. I just want to talk. I'm not really interested in hearing what you have to say. I just want my people back. And you'll get them. Just give me a chance. Listen. Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like... Everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now 
is my brother back. I'm sorry for what he did. That's all. And I'll leave you be. You buying any of this? You'll get Randall after you hand over my friends. After everything you've done, you expect me to simply hand over your friends, just like that. Careful, Michonne. A show of good faith, then. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, I want to see my brother. Why the hell are we standing here? We're all homeless because of her. Daddy, stop. They should be dead. That is not what we are here for. Now be quiet. My brother, now. I have given you what you wanted. I just want to see him. I want Pete's crew first. Then I'll give you Randall. I think I've been more than reasonable. Show me, Randall. Oak! Hey! Put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have two more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're gonna insist on being difficult... Don't hurt him, all right? He's right here. Uh. Randall, you okay? Uh, uh, this fucking thing over. Just hang on. I got gotcha. you. Now hand him over, and we'll be done with this. Randall isn't worth all this shit. Gabby, listen to After me. After everything they've done, you're still giving them more chances. We deserve retribution. Don't do this! Stop! No! No! Virgil! Everyone put your guns uh, down! I knew we couldn't trust them! Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. You better get your people under control. <laughs> Gabby! Fuck! <laughs> I'll give you that one, all right? We're even. As long as you let Randall go. I'm not gonna ask you again. No one else has to die. Is that a threat? It doesn't need to be. Okay. You can have him. Good. Here we go. Go! 
show now! Get that gate open! Hurry! Stop her!
not safe. Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama. Stay here with us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please, give us a minute. Come on, Alex! What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! It's too late. I wish you could come with me. Michelle! Promise. 
Okay. We'll miss you. Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. Give them time. They've lost a lot today. We made it out, but they need time to grieve those that did it. It's a lot to take in. Sam's death, it was my fault. She stayed behind, tried to get me to leave, but I wouldn't go. It'll be harder out there without Berto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not going to be the same without him. Yeah, I'm going to miss him too. I know this has been hard on you more ways than one. When we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. What happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out in there. I saw my daughters. I got to talk to them. That's not possible, right? For them to be there. I know. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I got to tell them that I'd come back, that I wasn't abandoning them. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. I'll go back eventually, when I'm ready. Just don't take too long. Come on.
safe. stay, but I can't. Why? It's complicated. My job. It... Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Leave, Mama? Stay here with us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please. Just let me say goodbye. Come on, Alex! What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! It's too late. Girls, listen to me. I have to go. I just have to go. Michelle! Oh, my God. 
Sadiq's going to take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. We can drop you off in Oceanside or maybe one of the other communities up north. It's good people. Thanks. And thank you for everything. I don't know if we would have made it out of there without you. You found my brothers. You took care of Norma. We owe you a lot. You're welcome. It'll be harder out there without Berto. I lean on you a bit more. It's not going to be the same without him. Are you going to be okay, Pete? Yeah. Don't worry about me. Yeah, I guess that's a bit hypocritical of me, huh? I wanted to ask. When we got separated, I. Heard you calling for your daughters. What, what happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and... I wasn't thinking clearly. All the smoke. I saw things that couldn't be real. It's happening more often now. The hallucinations, hearing things. Maybe you'd better start thinking about... You know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I was able to walk away. I couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. You're right. It's time to go back. Build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh. And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh. Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird 